Hello everyone. In this video, I want to go through some different things that differentiate Nodi from hip to base. In the past, I've done some deeper dives where I went through all the different features between these two apps and compared them. This one here, I just want to get into what I see as the top reasons for you to either decide on picking one versus the other. Now we're going to start with Nodi and on the Nodi side, the top reason why you would choose Nodi over Heptabase is because of its canvas and its canvas is very flexible. You can do a lot of different things that you cannot do on Heptabase. Now these applications are, are put out there for different reasons. So this isn't to say one is better than the other, but if you're looking for a flexible canvas that allows you to put shapes on it, icons on it, have layers, you can draw and so on, then Nodi is the, is that visual note taking application you want to use. It's really even to call it a visual note taking app, it brings it down a bit because it does so much more. It's more of a whiteboard where you can basically do anything that you can on a whiteboarding app on here. And it's mixed with the visual note taking aspect where you have a library where you're storing things that can be repurposed on your boards. So it combines both of those together. Now, some of the things that you can do, as I mentioned, you can draw on the canvas. And one of the things I found particularly useful because I'm usually putting images on the canvas and I need to point, put an arrow to something, either I'm drawing an arrow, like you see here and some of the images here, but more times than not, I'd rather just get an arrow and point directly to what I need it to point to. And something as simple as this cannot be done on Heptabase because everything is going to from the object to another object and is typically anchored to the outside edge of the object. Cannot put it in, on in the center there. This for me has been one of the game changing reasons why any of the creative stuff that I need to put together, I would prefer doing it on Nodi where within Heptabase is more research text-based stuff that really is where that shines. So going over into Heptabase, the biggest thing that I think differentiates Heptabase these days than Nodi is the AI because they've doubled down on artificial intelligence. They recently released the ability to leverage MCP and yeah, it really opens up the doors to being able to do a lot of stuff with the information and data that you have, then have the base because not only can you use or use a single card as context, you can use your entire vault as context. So they've really opened that up on the artificial intelligence side. You can even push information into have the base by leveraging MCP. If you're looking for any AI integration, with the visual note taking tool that you use, then Heptabase between these two is the only one to go with because Nodi does not have it. I think AI is a very capable tool that you should have in your toolbox. And I feel that Heptabase is actually implemented very well, giving you the flexibility to put in your own keys, add your notes as context and be able to leverage MTP. I think it's a well-rounded implementation can use it. You don't have to use it, but it's there if you need it for sure. Going back to the Nodi side of things. Now, Nodi on the on second on my list is going to be its ability to do highlighting. And even though you can do some highlighting over in Heptabase, highlighting in Nodi is, I think, is way beyond, just like on the canvas, it goes way beyond what you can do on Heptabase. You can highlight everything. So not just the text in your cards, you can, or PDFs, you can highlight video, you can highlight audio as well. So you can go crazy with the highlighting if you need to. So if you're someone that likes to highlight and you don't want to be held down by what type of content you're doing highlighting on, then Nodi is the application to go with there. Switching over to Heptabase, the Second one here on the Heptabase list is its ability 
to be leveraged and used on multiple platforms. So Nodi, you can only use it on a desktop. With Heptabase, you can use it on the web, you can use it on a mobile device, you can use it on your desktop. So it doesn't matter whether you're sitting at your desk or you're out and on the go, you can easily get to the content. Now, obviously on a phone, you, it's really hard to do any type of visual note taking and working in that whiteboard on the phone side screen, but on a tablet, it makes it a little better. And just having the access to your content is in itself a big leap beyond on the Nodi side, because you can, you could get away with having one single app with all your data that's accessible from pretty much any device that you have. Versus on the Nodi side, I need to have another application that I know I can get to the data on my phone, on my tablet, and in any situation without needing a laptop. So I think the big plus on the Heptabase side is that multi-platform support. Now, if we switch back over onto the Nodi side, the next or the last one on the list here, I'm just doing three from each, it's going to be the organization. The folders, the ability to have folders and Nodi is a big differentiator because you cannot have the folders in the way that you can here within Nodi. Yes, you can have those folders on the side pane with Heptabase, but that's not what I'm talking about. Being able to organize your boards into folders is a game changer from an organization standpoint. You can on the Heptabase side have boards within boards, but I found that not to be as satisfying. If you like that particular organizational setup, then that's fine. That's great for you. But I found it just to be not as satisfying. It just seems a little weird to me putting boards within the boards and not being able to click and drill down and open and collapse the folder trees like you can in noting. There used to be a limitation on the number of folders you could, or the number of subfolders you could have on Nodi, but they've opened that up. You could probably go completely crazy with it and have infinite number of folders and subfolders. Now, the main concern of having all those different folders, one is that if you're going to go crazy with it, you could completely clutter up your environment. The other one is that you will quickly run into your limit from a size standpoint of what you can publish to the web. If you do not have the unlimited publishing subscription that they have out there. So I do use folders within the project that I know I'm not going to ever want to publish. And then if I do want to publish, I just create a, an ad hoc project copy what I need into it. There's even functionality to just move or duplicate into another project and then share it that way. So it's not that big of a deal as far as when I need it, I can get around the size threshold. If I built something within a folder or a project with that's already hit its limit that I cannot, I cannot publish. And typically when I'm publishing something anyway, I'm only looking to publish one board, not really the entire project. I just, my use case, the way I use it is not really needing to publish the entire project. And the way Nodi does that could be changed up a little bit to where you can publish a board. They recently did release the ability to be able to publish a card, a single card on its own, which is great. But if I could publish just one particular board in a project, I think that would make it better for my particular use case. That way I don't have to create another project, put one board in it and then publish it that way. And also in that organization within a project in Nodi. You also have that table of contents where it does show you the different boards that you have, and then all of the other content or objects are broken down in there as well. So if you have these big infinite boards within your project, 
it's easy to click on them and see what objects are where. You can organize it within the frames and the frames show up on the side there and you can easily get to them and click around. Again, the organization within Nodi, I think, is pretty great. Now, one thing on the Heptabase side that Nodi does not have, and they do not have it now. I have seen it on the roadmap. It's supposed to come out this month, but potentially that could get pushed out. And that feature is the ability to have a global view of your, your tasks. So if you have your checkbox items that you are putting in your cards and you're using those as a task list, then within Heptabase, you have a global place to see all of those. Within Nodi, you will have to hunt down where those things are if you remember. So if you have a large environment with a lot of projects and boards and things like that, I think that can get unruly trying to figure out where your tasks are. But in Heptabase, they make it pretty easy. So can't wait for that feature to show up in Nodi. But Heptabase right now wins in that department because it's already there. And if you couple that with the ability to set a date on those, which you can do within Heptabase, you can just schedule a date on it. And you can also be able to view those tasks on your mobile device. There you go. You don't have reminders, but I think it's okay because they're not trying to be a project management tool. So not having reminders is not that big of a deal. I have a um, task management, project management tool anyway. But being able to have these, these different tasks or checklists in these different documents and be able to see them from anywhere and just check the things off when you need to, I think it's very convenient. All right. So those are the three different things on Nodi and three different things on Heptabase that I think differentiate these two from the other. If you have any that I did not put on this list, let me know down in the comments. And that's going to be it for this video. So if you like the content on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next time, have a nice day.